Okay, <laughs> let's start at the beginning. The beginning is this wonderful nine. And you know, um, nines are close to the end of tens. And this is the nine of pentacles. So it does look like you're working on projects. There may be some things from the past that you are cleaning up. This can be anything from home projects to academics if you are in school or work projects that you kind of let go for a while. But it does look like you are... Um, doing things that are a little bit more creative and that it's bringing you a little bit more sense of peace, a little bit more faith in the journey. Uh, and it does feel like you are re resolving some issues that might have been outstanding. But for the most part, this card is taking great things from your mind, putting them into the physical realm. And then this is what happens after you put them in the physical realm. This is the nurturing part, the attention that it needs to grow. Uh, basically, it's how does your garden grow? Um, it does feel like uh, some of these projects have been kind of lingering for a while. You may have to do two at the same time, but it does look like you're releasing uh, some things that it have been long overdue, uh, and it may involve some creative endeavor as well. What crosses you? feels like the knight of nine of wands here knights are all about action this wand is about fire so this could be an aries leo or sagittarius it doesn't necessarily have to be in a male body there is no female equivalent to the knights in the deck um but this knight of wands you know, they ask for motion. This is usually good news about work, some activities. Uh, you may be getting a new job, a positive change in that, maybe some travel coming up, um, moving around the cabin a little bit. Uh, but when I ask Spirit what this specifically means for you, Gemini, it does feel like there may be someone that is kind of trying to distract you from the jobs that you need to do, maybe demanding a little bit more attention than they um, are worth, shall we say. <laughs> uh, maybe trying to get you off of the path and just a little needy, which kind of stands in the way of you doing your projects. So you may have to be very clear with your communication. This Ace of Swords is all about communication. Uh, so you may be, be very clear with your communication with this person. This may be a love interest. This may be a spouse. This may be a child, a uh, parent but it's somebody that's very, very demanding on your time and not really paying attention to um, anything other than themselves. They're not seeing that you're extremely busy and you don't have the time. You need to do something else. So it does look like this, this is Ace of Swords is asking you to communicate and to set some very clear boundaries. Doesn't mean you don't love them. It means you don't have time for them right now and set other time for them. But they are very demanding and very pulling on your time. It's really not working for your success. So you're going to have to step up and set some clear boundaries boundaries. If this is a child, a spouse, or whatever, you have to set some clear boundaries. So you may do your what you need to do. The fool is above here. The fool is usually when you start a new endeavor. This can be a new job. This can be a new situation, a new uh, relationship, a uh, new school, new home. But usually the fool is the beginning of something because the fool is the zero card. So it does feel like whatever was kind of hanging over you last year has been resolved. You've made some changes, um, you know, maybe going out in the world a little bit more than you have. Um, the hermit is here, so you may have that propensity for hibernation, but the fool asks you to come out of your cave. The fool asks you to start something new and to take a leap of faith. Even if it's scary, try it. If it doesn't work out, you can always turn around, try a different road. But it does feel like there have been some big changes over the last 12 to 18 months. So filling that in with some new things. This could be a job opportunity. This could be a school opportunity, but it is something new. Maybe that brightens you a little bit, but you know, new things always frighten us and endings are sad. That's just how it is. So see if you can walk um, into it a little bit and give it a try, whatever it is. It does feel like someone will offer something to you, either a job, a school, uh, something something new that may scare you a little bit, but it does look like you will reap some benefits from making this change. The Ace of Swords is here. Aces are God cards or Karma cards. They're the higher echelon of the cards. They usually... Um, 
dictate hand of God things, things that come right out of the air, uh, things that really need to happen in order for the next step to happen. And these aces of swords are really about new lifestyles, um, bringing up your willpower, spiritual growth. You can be having a difficult conversation with somebody so you can make some positive changes in your life and in theirs. Um, and it may uh, affect or be needed with this Knight of Wands. Again, that would be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So this is in the past position, so it does look like something you would be either initiated or been contemplating on how to begin. But it does look like it's very necessary. You have the awareness that it's necessary, and you need to make some changes so you can make some room for you. King of Wands is here. If it is a person, it's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This doesn't necessarily mean it is someone in a male body. Kings are usually the highest, and they require uh, completion of something. Uh, wands are usually about status or wealth. Influence can be about honesty or good fortune. So in order to have you know these things, you've got to do the steps. You've got to complete things. So this may be filling out paperwork for either a new job, going to university. Um, do it. it looks like something that you're aware of, but you've got to do the follow through. You've got to do the completion in order to make the miracles happen. Uh, it does require some effort on your part. I am picking up something. It could be a Sagittarius. It is the most definitely a fire sign gem. It does feel like this is someone of authority, someone that you have a great heart space with. It does feel like it's someone over 40. It does feel like you're a little worried about them. It may be health. It Maybe that you are growing apart from them and you don't want to. So it does look like some communication with them, but it does feel like um, you're a very good team. This can be a parent, a grandparent, someone who is an, a, 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 an authority figure to you that um, it does feel like just expressing your gratitude would really make their day. But they're very, very important in your life. I don't feel like there's anything that needs to be, you know, greatly resolved, but just identify their contribution and maybe be able to offer some assistance to them. It does feel like they have assisted you in most of your life and it's time now to pay back a little bit is what I'm feeling. So temperance is here. This is about finding your balance. This is also not being too hard on yourself. You know, we always um, have a little judgment when we make a decision, whether it's a judgment to, to the outside world or a judgment to uh, the inside world of yourself. But this is feeling more, it's coming through very clearly that it's time to lighten up on yourself, be a little bit less judgmental, allow yourself to make mistakes, um, and you know, that's how we learn, but it does look like you are very, very hard on yourself and you tend to beat yourself up. So the temperance is asking you to find your balance in yourself and your kindness with yourself as well as others. There is a crown here. Uh, so it does feel like either a graduation or promotion or retirement, something, uh, positive is coming your way and something that you've been planning for, for a while. So this may be, uh, starting university. This may be getting ready to retire. This uh, is a celebration and something that you've been waiting for for a while. It could be a promotion, as I said, as well. But be a little more gentle on yourself, Gemini. If you beat yourself up, you just go backwards. Um, you know, it's, it's okay to think that you're a groovy person and it's all right to allow yourself to make those mistakes without beating yourself up. That's how we learn. It's the way it was set up. Here's another one about finding balance. This is the two, two about, uh, uh, pentacles can be about finding money, uh, finding balance with your money. So you may need to create a job. You may be looking for a new job or trying to find balance with your money. This may be paying off some debts or some uh, student loans or something, or even getting repaid for some money that has gone out. But it does feel like things are getting a little bit more balanced emotionally for you. You're learning some tools. You're not beating yourself up as much. So that will help you find the balance. 
It also feels like you have some travel coming up in the future. This may be near water. Uh, this may be for the holidays or it may be, uh, you know, next uh, spring or summer. But it does look like it is getting closer to you. It feels like something you've wanted to do for a while. So that is coming into focus. The hermit is here and the hermit is when you kind of go to the mountaintop and you go inside yourself and you ask the God of your heart for the answers going inside yourself kind of pushing the noise and din out of your head so you can find your own answers instead of maybe being so influenced by external things. This is more an internal influence and connecting with the God of your heart. For those of you who do not walk in the um, religious world or the religious path, it's just finding that quietness inside of you, finding a way to release the tension. This can be doing, you know, yoga, this can be uh, writing, this can be anything that is a gift to yourself to find the calmness and to get those answers for, from within. It can be kind of an aha religious moment. Um, it can be, you know, really connecting with your spirit on a daily lesson or a daily level and really um, incorporating that into your daily life. So it does look like you're getting closer and closer to your own spirituality or your understanding of how to find your smile how to find your smile so the five is here this and fives can be very tumultuous they can be very challenging they are in the middle of the uh, one through ten each each suit has one through ten uh, so ten is the completion of things one is the beginning five is right in the middle of the thick of it it does feel like you were disappointed over something. This is kind of the crying over spilt milk. It does feel like maybe somebody you thought had your back didn't. Uh, it looks like it raised some emotional stuff for you, uh, made you a little less trustworthy of this person, kind of made you look at the big picture. And this may have come down as you like message through somebody kind of thing, uh, but it does look like you got to just surrender and leave this jive in the past, uh, focus on the positive, but it really it looked like it was kind of cruel and bossy and it may have taken you by surprise. This may have been, you know, a bad review at work when you didn't know about it. Uh, this could be, you know, your partner in life lashing out at you over something, but it does look like um, you're just going to have to let that go, that it was kind of a momentary lapse in reason in their part, uh, but it really kind of hurts your soul and um, kind of brought up that temperance that I'm, you know, I'm not enough stuff and you really are. So it does look like you're working through this, but you really had to feel this betrayal in order to trust your information more than theirs. The King of Swords is here. This can be an air sign. This can be you. Uh, so those air signs would be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, if it is a person, it would be probably someone over 40, someone that has great wisdom. But the kings, remember, are about completion. You have two two completion cards here. So that kind of tells me it's time to get uh, that hitch out of your get along and start putting some motion behind those great ideas. This is about great strength. Um, it can be about alchemy, mental work, science, and communication. It can be about it a teaching. This could be a mentor. So this does feel like you may have to check in with a mentor or you are a mentor. This has something to do with the movement here. Uh, so you may need to um, connect with somebody that has some information that will help you move forward. You know, for those of you that are entering school, entering college, um, doing research on retirement. It does look like somebody has this information to bring clarity to you, to help you with the form. So don't be afraid to ask, to reach out to either a guidance counselor or, um, you know, HR department at work. It does feel like someone has some information that will tie all those, you know, connect the dots for you, for your endeavors into the future. So don't be afraid to ask for help. It's never too early to sign up for things, to get information, start collecting the information um, for your future. Uh, you do have a number of information collecting cards. So um, I would suggest, you know, winter's a great time to be on the computer when it's cold and start finding out what direction you'd like to 
go into in the future. The hangman is here. That's the epiphany card. That's aha moments. It's usually spiritual aha moments, personal aha moments. You know, when something isn't working, you try something different. You know, doing the same thing over and over um, is not going to bring you the results that you need. So it does look like, you know, when the hangman is here, it's the same life. It's the same attitude. It's the same people. But once you shift your awareness, your priorities, and look at the big picture is what's happening. What are you learning from this? It's not just the person being mean to you. What situation do you create over and over to learn from? It does feel like you have figured it out. You no longer need to create bossy partners. You no longer have to create manipulative friends to learn that you are worth something. So that is an example that may not be your situation, but it does feel like you had some aha moments over the last month or two on what your future is going to look like. The final card here and the other clarity card is the four. This is the four of swords. It looks like you may have had some disturbing dreams. Um, you know, if we suppress what we're supposed to say and do in life, it does come out. It does come out. So it does look like you may have supp suppressed some conversations with these bullies um, or this weird situation. So it is coming out in your dreams. So these could be fears. These could be, you know, um, nightmares. This could be... Uh, positive dreams of you overcoming it in your uh, sleep. So it does look like you are working a little overtime um, on the astral when you are sleeping. So my suggestion is uh, a lot of times when I get a tumultuous amount, just a huge amount of, I mean, not tumultuous, but a huge amount of information on the other side. When, when I wake up, I write it down and I write a dream journal. I don't even look at it till a couple hours have passed. Sometimes it will tell me very telling dreams of what was coming that day or how to resolve something. But I find that it usually does pertain to the day somehow. So if you're having a lot of telling dreams, nightmares, fears, not being able to sleep, it does look like it may be interrupting not only your sleep pattern, but your elimination system. So you may be going too much, not enough, um, or upsetting your stomach a little bit. So it does look like find a way to speak your truth so you can relieve the stress from your body a little bit, Gemini. All right, that is your general reading. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> for the month of November, I'm going to throw some Lover's Oracle card for you. And this one just popped out. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So if it is your loved one that you are having a little difficulty with, create some playfulness. Create, it's not always have to be the heavy thing. So create some playfulness and find your smile. 